Hey guys, Dan the Fitness Man here. Welcome to Elk Shape. Today we're gonna to talk about solo self-filming, something that is very challenging, but if you can film your hunts, not only do you capture some awesome memories, but you can go back and you can check out what you did great, what you did wrong, and stir up some memories as well as kind of treat it like the old football days where you look at, you know, film with your coach and see what you could do better. This video today is all about how to self-film your hunts. I wanna talk about action cameras first. There's a bunch of good ones. Tim's got the DJI and that one is pretty legit. I have a Hero GoPro 7. This is the, I think it's the silver. GoPros are all the same to me as far as they all fish eye. They're super reliable. A lot of them are pretty water resistant. Uh, their batteries are decent and they capture kind of that wide angle. They give you a unique perspective, but you can't have an entire hunt hinge upon what you capture with the GoPro. That's a huge mistake. How I use this is I have it on a monopod and I'll slide this monopod on the back of my backpack and it will be hanging over the top. I'll show you a couple pictures here of me walking around. And so this gives a real cool over the shoulder perspective of how I hunt. Then I have the Solvid, which is fairly new to me. And the Solvid is uh, basically set up to where you could put a phone, a GoPro, an action camera, and even a handy cam like this one. And actually a handy cam is the, probably the best option. It's going to take some practicing. I recommend getting the lightest one possible, which is a Panasonic. This is the 180. They also have a 380, I believe. Both those are around eight ounces. You're not, it's not going to make your head go sideways. And the reason why I tell you Panasonic's is because you open this viewfinder up, hit record and shut it and it still records. Now the Sony and the Canons will turn off the second that viewfinder goes in. So you don't wanna walk around the woods like that. So you wanna be able to do this and it's gonna take a little bit of practice, but it gives you also another angle because if you use it, just the GoPro, when you turn your shoulders to shoot, the camera's gonna follow your torso or your shoulder. So this head mount is gonna allow you to see the arrow on the shelf leaving the bow and the target. So this is a really cheap setup. I think the band itself is 40 bucks. If you use a discount code ELKSHAPE, you get 10% off. And then this Panasonic was like 170 bucks-ish shipped from Amazon. And it takes a, I got a 128 gig card in it. It shoots 1080. So it's really gonna elevate some of the footage we gathered this year. And the battery lasts really long on these. Now I wanna rotate into some of the DSLR and the lenses that we use um, because my backpack's always heavy because I pack a DSLR, I pack a big long lens and I pack a wide lens so I can capture stills along the way. And if I'm in a position to do some filming, I'm gonna bust out the DSLR because it shoots in 4K. Uh, I think the one thing that gets overlooked is you wanna shoot with your cell phone if you have a decent one. Cell phones this, this day and age are amazing. I have the newest iPhone, whatever that, I think it's an 11 or something, but I shoot a ton of images and 4K video on that. As far as frames per second on the 4K, you, you can change that with your iPhone. I think I run 30 frames a second and I am always using that to vlog, to capture different angles. And with the new iPhones, you can also make them wide, um, wide lens on some of your footage. So that's really exciting. So GoPro, a Panasonic, Cam, handy cam, an iPhone, which you can do a lot of things with, and then you got your DSLR. Now there's a lot of batteries to charge in the back country, so you're gonna have to have some sort of system, whether it be a generator or, you know, I, I use a dark energy Poseidon, uh, that's my memory bank, and then I also have a Goal Zero solo charger that I bring in the back country, it weighs nothing, so you're gonna have to have some sort of system to charge your batteries. I think the hierarchy of cameras is all dependent on how I'm gonna use it when hunting. So. The reason why I use the iPhone the most is because it's right in my pocket, it's the lightest, and I can get it out and hit record as fast as possible. The reason why I bring a GoPro is because it just offers a unique perspective to kind of show you the whole surroundings, and it's bulletproof, like you can run it through brush. 
Uh, it's very waterproof resistant if you have the right case uh, and the battery life is pretty good. I like a GoPro. Now this guy's pretty fragile. You can't just go tearing through alders with this on your head. So you're gonna have to be a little bit delicate. The thing I like about this is I can take it off and I can still maybe zoom in a little bit without losing quality. Uh, optical zoom is important, digital zoom. I mean, that's just gonna lose quality. So when you want the good stuff though, that's when you bust out the Sony DSLR and that's when you get the crisp 4K footage. And so I'll generally bust out the DSLR when lighting is at its best. And the lighting that I like is first thing in the morning and the last half an hour of the evening. And that's when we'll bust out the long lens. And when I get back at camp, it's not a bad idea to set the DSL up to do time lapses and things like that to just capture time going by, sunsets, clouds moving, dust rolling to help tell stories. Because ultimately we're trying to tell stories and we're trying to remember as much as possible about the hunt. So guys, I hope that helps just give you a, a shove in the right direction or at least so you can see behind the scenes of how we capture some of our stuff. We're kind of amateur, but at the same time, we don't have amateur equipment. So we're trying hard to do quality and we're trying hard to do it right. So hopefully you like some of this stuff and don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more awesome information. Comment below if you want Timmy to break down all the geek out stuff that he does behind the scenes of some of these elk shape YouTube videos. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.